Okay, this is the uh, motor inside a ceiling fan. I had a ceiling fan in my house that stopped working, so I took it apart. This is what's on the inside, right? So this is how it would hang here. The blades would be attached uh, here. This is where the blades would be attached. And notice it spins very nicely. And what's on the inside here? What do you see here? Wires. Right? Wires. A lot of what? <laughs> coils of wire. Why? Because that's an electric motor. You run current through this, it creates a magnetic field, and then that affects the metal on this outer rim, and it makes it all spin. So that's how you get. This is, this is the key behind an electric motor. Right. Uh, this was the motor. Oh, I lost part of it. Right. There was a thing in the middle here. I'm not sure where that went. Let me see if I can find it. And then this is the thing. This was just a stand fan. Stand fan. You know, like an oscillating standing fan. So that thing stopped working, probably because of this. You can see uh, probably got hot. Things were melting, short-circuited, and just stopped working. Um, but this thing in the middle can spin. And again, all these coils of wire and these metal pieces around it are all magnetic. So this is the key behind how we generate electricity and how we use electricity for, um, for electric motors.